Hey guys, um, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video on SSSBs. And thank you, Nessa, for helping us research and um, do this video. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So previously we did a co-op with um, Ella here and we were doing it on Saturn on her channel. So now we're doing another co-op and I'm gonna teach her about SSSBs. What does SSB mean? Okay, so SSSB, um, it means small solar system bodies. And um, small solar system bodies are, so they're smaller than planets, they're smaller than the sun, they're smaller than stars, and they're smaller than dwarf planets. They're their own category, and they're made up of um, like rock, they're made up of what we call like space trash. They're really made up of like frozen, frozen objects, um, rock, some gases, um, and dust. So really they're just made up a bunch of like stuff and they're all just smushed together. So um, what types are there? So there are a couple of, ty of things that you're gonna find in this cat category. Um, there are comets, there are asteroids, and there are meteors or meteorites. Um, and we can talk about all of them today. Got it, so let's start. Um, let's start with comets. Okay, um, so comets. So comets, um, they orbit the sun and comets are made out of dust, rock, frozen gases, and ice. Um, so kind of like I was saying before, space, like they're just like mushed together like dust and rock and gases, yes. Um, and they have a tail and this tail can stretch for millions of miles. Um, and can, it can, and sometimes you can see it on earth, like you can see them in the sky. Um, the comets can also range from a few miles long to tens of miles long. They range, they're very wide and they range very, very much. Um, and yeah, so that's basically, that's comets and yeah. Yeah, so let's now go on to asteroids. Okay, so asteroids. Asteroids are just, are, they're somewhat like comets. They also orbit the sun and asteroids are rich in minerals and water. Um, they have carbon silica in them, and they also have some metals in them. They also, so my something that I, um, they have ice trapped in in um, the rubble mass. So some of them have like after, on collisions, they have water that then freezes inside of the asteroid and thus creates an ice inside of it. So that's really cool. Um, I thought that was really cool. And there's also a there's also a like company that is called the International Astronomical Unions Committee. Um, and they work um, to name, they name asteroids. Um, they, so all the asteroids like circling the earth and circling the sun, they name them and they classify them. So I thought that was really cool. Um, just something fun to know. So yeah, that's it for asteroids. Yeah, let's go on to the last one, which is meteors and meteorites. So, a, meteor, a meteoroid um, is an object in space that range in size from dust grains to small asteroids. Meteors, um, so for meteors, when meteoroids enter Earth's atmosphere, um, or of another planet like Mars, let's say, um, at high speeds, they will burn up. And then the fireballs or the shooting stars are called meteors. So really, meteors are made of meteoroids. Um, and they burn up and they come down. So I, like some have entered Earth's atmosphere, but most burn up before they get the chance. So, and they aren't that dangerous. Well, they are dangerous, but like we haven't had one be dangerous in a long time. Um, so yeah, and that's it for meteors.